Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about SAP FI substitutions. Substitutions have a really great use case because with substitutions, they can define um, a step consisting of a prerequisite and a substitution itself. So when the prerequisite is true, um, yeah, it, it is. Um, it uh, succeeds and then basically you can define what kind of value will be set basically substituted so therefore you can yeah, um, make the life of an uh, SAP FI end user easier and uh, you can definitely improve the data quality and so on so enjoy this video and let's get started so to create a substitution, first of all, we have to go to a transaction and it's the OBBH. Once you are in the substitution, then basically you see this list of the different entries of different substitutions and we would like to create a new substitution. So therefore we click on the new entries button and within here you have to enter your company code, so 1710 in my case. And within the calling point there, I'm using the for help right now. You can specify my case between four calling points. So if you would like to use the substitute on document header, if you would like to use it on the line item or on the complete document and uh, also on the cost of sales accounting. So because of that, I would like to substitute the profit center. I'm using it on the line item. So I'm using the calling point two. And then you hit the enter key and basically then you have added your entry, but basically you have to create a substitution and of course to link it to your company code and the calling point and then therefore have to also activate it. But right now we would like to create a substitution. So you select your entry and then you go in the menu function on environment and then substitution or you could also hit the F2 key on your keyboard. And then here you end up in this nice yeah, editor to create a substitution. Um, it's, it looks like similar um, as we saw in a different video about SAP FI validation. So on the left hand side you have this tree structure about the different calling points. And on the right side there right now you see the explanation uh, about the uh, maintenance of substitutions. So how you can create a substitution, how you can maintain it, how you can transport it and so on but right now we would like to create a substitution on the calling point line item so you make sure that you set the focus on line item and then you click on the button create substitution and right now here you have to yeah, bas basically um, add your ID of your substitution. So in my case, I just would like to set underscore test one. Then you can name it what you like to. So for example, um, substitution for FB70 profit. Wow. Center. Then you hit the enter key and basically then, yeah, basically this node has changed. By the way, if you want to, you can also um, yeah, change the authorization. So you limit the usage of this substitution. I don't want to do this. And yeah, if you um, would like to get in detail, so the different nodes under the substitution, then of course you don't see any step right now because you have created it newly. So therefore you set the focus on this node on the substitution and then you click on the insert step button. And now here you have to select your substitutable fields. So the field that you would like to use within the substitution. And as mentioned, I would like to use the profit center as a substitutable field. So therefore I would like to get technical information, technical uh, data element of this field. So therefore I would like to go to the transaction and in my case it's FB70 to enter customer invoice and uh, within the line item data I scroll a little bit to the right to see where the profit center is and there it is. So I set the focus into this field, hit the F1 key on my keyboard 
and then I choose technical information to get the data element of this field. And as we saw exactly within the SAPFI validation, um, not at every time the table that is being used to save the data is displayed within the technical information. Yeah, what a pity. Um, unfortunately, this is what you just have to know. So um, if you have some yeah, experience, then you definitely know the table. Um, by the way, I will also link a video how you can find a needed table within the SAP system. So therefore here we'd like to use the data element. And in this case for the profit center, it's PRCTR. But of course it's not the, the structure. Um, it's structure being used in Timpro. It's the table BSEC. So I copy the data element and then I go once again within uh, the OBBH and then I'm using control F and then I enter this data element and within here we can see that this uh, executable or substitutable field um, can be selected. So I select this, I confirm and then within here, um, here you can specify how you would like to substitute this field. Um, you know, in my case, I'd like to use it with a constant value. You can also use exit or field assignment. So then I confirm. And within here, yeah, I just would like to substitute profit centrum. So then I hit the enter key and in within a substitution, basically a substitution consists of a prerequisite and a substitution itself. Um, so within the step, first of all, we have to define our prerequisite. So double click and within here, um, first of all, I'd like to here to, to set up the prerequisite based on a specific cost center. So therefore, once again, uh, we go into the um, FB70 to, yeah, not on a specific cost center, my pardon, on a specific GL account. So I hit the uh, F1 key to get the technical information about this GL account. And then I copy this. Then I close this and then I go to basic. Then I use control F and control V to search the GL account. And then I'd like to, yeah, to um, take this over to use it. Then I double click. And uh, I just like to yeah, set this equal to a constant, this GL account. Uh, yeah, then I go a step back. Yeah, by the way, you have to make sure that the status is green, is correct and complete. Uh, if it's not the case, then you uh, have to, to correct your statement. You can easily also um, change it. So delete the element and then insert the correct element. So I go back, then I save it. So in here within the overview, we can directly see the prerequisite. And now I would like to, yeah, to, to add a substitution. So I double click on substitutions. And within here, I'd like to basically uh, substitute the profit center by, uh, uh, by a specific value. So in my case with this one, so then I save it. So save and generation successfully completed. And if I go to the step, then basically within here, you can see the outcome. Um, yeah, I save it to make sure once again, then I go uh, one step back or a couple of steps back to get to the overview within here, because now what we'd like to do is we would like to link our created substitution to the company code and to the calling point. So therefore use step for help. And then I select the created one. And you definitely have to make sure that you activate your substitution. So I once again, to show you this, I hit the enter key first of all, and then I'm using the F4 help. And then you have to make sure at least you select uh, um, two to have it active, but then it's not usable within the batch input. Uh, in my case, I'd like to uh, just have it active in general. So I select one and then I save it. 
then you have to link it to a customizing request. So I confirm, yeah, this is okay. And yeah, then you basically um, have done all the mandatory steps. If we double click in the substitution, then within the menu function substitution, you can simulate your substitution. So therefore I click on simulate and within here you just enter your GL account and you leave the profit center blank, you execute this. And now you see that the profit center has this value. Um, if I go one step back and for example, yeah, enter a different, yeah, then you see that the condition is false and no substitution has happened. And if we're back now, uh, yes, I would like to exit the simulation here. Yeah, and now if you want to, you can also test this in the FB70 transaction, your substitution. You just simply enter your GL account and see that your profit center is now changed. Uh, by the way, for example, if you select the substitution and then under extras, and there you have some settings for the trace. So if you activate the trace, then during execution, um, you will directly see, um, as we saw earlier, the simulation. So what you have entered, what is the outcome, what is the process and so on. Uh, within here in the OBBH, you can always deactivate the trace if you want to. Yeah, but basically, um, as mentioned, um, you can easily set up substitutions. Uh, I think there are great use cases for that. And yeah, uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you on the next video.